This tutorial is dedicated to guiding you through the process of creating interactions for the animations showcased in the previous video. To begin, we'll demonstrate how to create an interaction that simulates unplugging a cable from a device. To accomplish this, access the interact mode and create a new interaction and give it a name. The trigger is an impulse that executes the interaction. The action is a direct order of what should be executed. Conditions are rules that block a list of actions in the interaction from being executed. Add a trigger and select the on-click trigger option from the drop-down menu. You can choose a specific object, selection, or floating UI with an on-click trigger. Since we intend to trigger the animation by clicking on the cable itself, opt for the object trigger. Pinpoint the target object using either the drop-down menu or the eyedropper tool that allows you to select any object within the scene or project tab. Subsequently, add a new action and select Animation from the drop-down list. Choose the desired animation from the animation options. Finally, inspect the interaction in preview mode to ensure it functions as intended. Moving forward, we will create another interaction to replicate the plugging in of the cable. Create a new interaction and give it a distinctive name. Apply the same on-click trigger and add a new animation action. Initially, the interaction should stop the unplug animation. Then, add another animation action configured to play the plug-in animation. Because we set the same cable trigger for both interactions, we need to define which interaction should be activated. To achieve that, we need to use conditions. Add a new condition and select the Unplug Animation from the Animation drop-down menu. This means the interaction will only activate once the Unplug Animation has finished. Test it in Preview mode. To further ensure that the plug-in interaction doesn't activate while the unplug animation is ongoing, add a condition. This condition states that the unplug action is only playing when the plug-in animation is not playing. Confirm this in the preview once again. It should work seamlessly. Next on our agenda is the switch on interaction. Establish a new interaction and give it a name. Now choose the button object as the on click trigger. Introduce a new animation action from the drop down menu and select the switch on animation. Create another interaction for the switch off animation with the same on click trigger target. Add two animation actions. The first stops the switch on animation, and the second plays the switch off animation. As before, we need a condition to ensure that the switch off animation only triggers once the switch on animation has finished. Additionally, add a condition to the switch on interaction to prevent it from activating when the switch off animation is in progress. Test these interactions in preview mode. To enhance the existing interaction even further, let's add actions to control the on and off states of light using the material switcher action. However, before proceeding, create an additional material for when the light is turned off in the design mode. To do so, open the design tab and select light from the project tab.
Now add a new material by clicking the plus icon. Set its color to black and if necessary, make any other material adjustments. Give both materials distinct names to avoid any confusion when creating interactions. Ensure that off material is selected as active. Otherwise, the light will be on by default. Return to the interact mode and introduce a new action to the switch off interaction. From the action drop-down list, pick materials. Then choose the light from the object drop-down list and select the on material option from the material list. This action will trigger the switch on animation and simultaneously change the material of the light object to an emissive one. Repeat the same action for the switch on interaction. When we turn on the device, the light turns on immediately. To make it work perfectly, we'll add a 0.6 second delay to the material switcher action. Since we want to have animated lights inside the object, visible through the front holes, we will add another material to the inner part using the design mode. Add a new material and modify the color option from solid to animation using .gif or JSON animations. Ensure both materials are renamed appropriately to avoid any confusion. In the Interact tab, add additional actions to the switch on and switch off interactions. Like before, include a material switcher action for both and select the appropriate material. Lastly, Access preview mode to thoroughly test all interactions. Everything should appear to be functioning as intended. In our upcoming tutorial, we will demonstrate the final stage of how to share your project quickly and easily.